Going through the labyrinth is an insane puzzle. So it only makes sense that when you face the Labyrinth Sentinel, it's more like a puzzle than a boss battle. What's up, YouTube? Zero here. And today I have the boss battle against the Labyrinth Sentinel in Remnant 2. In this video, I'll show you the boss battle and give you some tips and tricks to more easily defeat this boss. Now I am playing on Survivor difficulty. However, I'm not sure that really matters too much in this battle because you are trying to avoid these cubes that are moving towards you now the first thing to note you have these cubes that split up they're moving around this arena there are lights or crystals on the side of each of these cubes to damage the labyrinth sentinel you have to destroy these lights after you destroy all of the lights on a particular cube, the cube will no longer glow. You can see the one in front of me right now is glowing purple. As soon as all of the lights are taken care of, it will no longer glow. So that's how you know the cubes have all of their crystals depleted. On top of that, when you explode a crystal, it will make an indent in the cube. This allows you to more easily avoid the cube because you can hide inside of that crevice as the cubes are moving around the arena. So that really helps for you to avoid all of the moving cubes. On top of the damage that you can receive from the cubes, and by damage I mean they will kill you instantly, if the cube lands on you and you're not in a crevice, you die instantly, so you have to be aware of that. Some of the cubes will shoot out orbs, and there's also a flat damaging sheath that just comes out and can damage you as well. I didn't find these insanely hard. They do deal damage. However, it's not insanely hard to avoid. You can see right there. And also the flat pieces. I liked to stay near the back of the arena. It made it a little bit easier while I was damaging all of the other crystals. And by doing that, I was able to get most of the crystals depleted. There's only one cube in the back of the arena that I had to move towards the back for. But staying roughly in the back of the arena, watching these cubes move, and then utilizing the divots to my advantage really made it a little bit easier again i didn't mind getting hit by the purple shots and the purple sheath as much yes it can do damage but the main concern is instantly dying to a cube landing on you so while i did try to avoid those shots as much as possible i preferred to just make sure that the cubes didn't automatically kill me because again it's an instant death if a side where you don't have a divot lands on you. So that is the end of the video. That's the end of the boss battle. If you did enjoy this, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Remnant 2 content. I do a bunch of other RPGs. So feel free to check those out as well. Until next time, peace.